We are on our way to the Gobi Desert to meet Mongolian nomads, to stay with them and to learn more about their way of life. And we left early this morning and we have about six hour drive. We just turned off the main road and we have about four hours drive left. Uh, hopefully we can make it. <laughs> it's quite a drive. So this is traditional milk tea, yes? Yeah? Milk tea. Vegetable soup. Yeah. Oh, wow. We are staying in our own yacht. Obviously, it took a while to get here. And we had dinner with family, got to meet everyone. Now we are ready to go to bed. It's really nice and toasty in here. So we're going to nod off and see you in the morning. Good morning. The temperatures dropped to minus 30 last night and it was raining quite heavy and the wind was really strong. But inside it was really warm and cozy. Um, the family came in during the night a couple of times to put more animals poop and uh, logs on fire to keep it going. But it did get pretty chilly this morning. So we just warmed up and we're going to start our day with Mongolian breakfast. Thank you so much. Some butter and jam? Yeah, and uh, we can just it this way and mm -hmm. also uh, if we want to can spread uh, some butter. Mm -hmm. 
It has many layers in it. <gasps> wow! It has! Sorry. <laughs> 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 I don't think they speak. They turn around and charge at us, your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping in the loo. <laughs> so here are the toilet facilities. And I'm going to hold Matt's hand while he's pooping. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. Too laughing. much information. <laughs> I'm joking. Correct I'm information, not. but too much information. <laughs> That's love. That's love. Get yourself someone who can hold your hand while you poop. <laughs> Do you look to China? Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> it, my car. Taking him home. Well, I wanted a cow, so. Are you gonna be my cow? Hmm? Sweetie. We were told that our family has 700 sheep and goats, 70 horses and 17 cows and this amount of snow is considered a lot and um, the more snow there is the worse it is because it's harder for animals to get to their food and actually what happened many years ago and last December the snow fell down melted and then froze over again and obviously when the ground is frozen animals can't get to their food and it happened that many animals died from starvation so to prevent that some people get hay so in case that happens that the ground freezes over animals can still survive and have their food so the family keep goats sheep horses cows and um yeah during the day they'll herd them they'll let them out to graze on the on the area on the step around here and then in the evening they'll bring them back during the winter into this stable area that they built and this is just their winter camp by the way they're usually here between november and march because it's a bit sheltered from the colder elements and yeah during the summer they'll go to a completely different place and then they'll graze on all of the fresh grass on the step and then if the grass sort of runs out or it's bad quality they'll then move on throughout the summer to different points and then yeah back up here for every winter These camels are pretty special because they're candy loving camels. So we've stopped and got some sweets to, um, okay, to uh, feed the camels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're coming over to be fed now. You do it, you do it. Wait, wait. Opa! Oi! What do you want? What do you want? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, look at the school got the. How you feeling in there? Very loud. Nip! 
Oh, okay on here? Oh. oh, okay. You should lean back. Lean back. Uh, and push the hand. Okay. And also, when you. You okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is uh, the most awkward I think I've ever felt in my life. Do <laughs> I? Try and. Uh, Do you know what? When we rode those horses in Georgia, mm. the ones that almost broke that girl's arm, I was so relaxed and I felt so really? good the whole time. Yeah. It's other so way around to me, to be honest. I was so tense then. No, and now I'm like... Yeah. Oh, it's a good, it's a good girl. Boy. Camel. Camel. They're actually so soft. They are, yeah, so hairy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is how many Mongolian nomads would have travelled across the steppes with generation after generation on these. And look at us, look nailing at us. it. Absolutely smashing it. <laughs> Okay, picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Thank you. Oh, hello. So we've quickly popped back to the yurt that we're staying in. And yeah, let's give you a quick tour around. There's three yurts here, or in fact, there's four, but there's three that the family seem to use, which is this one, which is the guest yurt. The middle yurt is where they do most of the cooking. And then the third year is where we all spend most of the time. That's like the place where everyone eats and socializes. But yeah, the year that we're staying in is very big. There's first bed here, another bed there, and a third bed here. In the middle, you've got the stove, like in all of the yurts, which is chimneyed out of the top here. And then there's a milk urn hanging in the middle here which is there to sort of store milk or butter, but also to keep this year balanced because it gets very, very windy here in the winter, especially. You need to keep the year weighted down. And uh, yeah, this hangs on both sides and just keeps it all centered. Just in case of a storm. Yeah. So basically the yacht stays in its place. Yeah. And then also, as we were just talking about in the uh, with everyone modern technology has actually made life for nomadic people a lot easier um, in many ways they've got solar panels for their energy which charge up the batteries like the one sitting here and um yeah so there's lighting everywhere 
They use phones so they can communicate with traders and with friends and with other nomads easier. And they've also got a washing machine in this year. So they bring water up from the village every so often in the truck that they've got. And then, yeah, they can wash their clothes whenever they want. There's a sink in this year as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. I wanted to show you this. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've seen those in the other yacht where we spent most of the communal yacht, shall we say. Um, this is horse hair. Everything, all, all of these braids are, and as you can see, horse hair. And they said that every time they sell their horses, they send them away, they like to take a little bit of their hair and keep it. It's the tradition that they have. Majority of the time, people use animal manure mixed with their we and then they compact it and dry and use it to get the fire going and also I've seen them using wood and some families also use coal by the way as we said this is the winter pastures for this family and the yurts themselves they bring obviously with them to their new pastures wherever they go and they only take apparently two hours for the family to put up one entire yurt which we were absolutely shocked about and when they take them down the whole process only takes half an hour i mean obviously they're experts but the size of these yurts it's kind of unbelievable that it's that quick. It takes me longer to put up a little two-man tent, to be honest. But yeah, incredible. So this whole camp, when they leave into the summer months, will get completely taken down and moved down towards the river somewhere. And roll it. And this is to make hushur. Yes? Uh, hushur. 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 Our family has three children. The oldest boy is helping with livestock and everything around the house. The middle girl is currently studying at the university in the Lombatar, and the youngest daughter is currently spending her school holidays at home. The family lives off their livestock. They trade with friends and neighboring families for necessities and unique goods. But there is a shop in the nearby village where they can get anything they need. <laughs> so by this race we're gonna eat tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Uh, you are doing it the first time. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he wants yeah. to teach you. Ah, the term. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Mm, perfect for winter. Mm. <laughs> How is Mongolian again? Uh, bon appetit. Sahan Hotare. Sahan Hotare. Sahan Hotare. Sahan Hotare. Sahan Hotare. Sahan Hotare. <laughs> Roast me. It is the final morning here with the family in the yurt camp. The sun is rising over the valley. The car's already on to try and heat through. The livestock have already gone out and we've just got time for one final breakfast together and we're heading off. Oh. Oh. morning. Ich <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. This is a whip, yeah? <laughs> 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 Even though we met this family for the first time just a couple of days ago, it feels like we're visiting our own family for the weekend. It never stops to amaze me how you can create a bond with someone without even speaking the same language, but you just get each other somehow. Experiences like this are my favorite part of being on the road. They make me feel truly alive. So happy to share this video with you. 
Hope you found these incredible people as inspiring as we did. And on that note, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Mwah. If you would like to get more exclusive content from us like daily vlogs and other travel vlogs that we don't put on YouTube, you may want to check out our Patreon community where we post our future plans and loads more other different things. And if you would like to get your name on the credit section here and just support our channel. On that note, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Mwah.